Welcome to Floating Point Float Centre. My name is Michael. I am the owner and director of the company, and I'm going to be going through your float induction today. If you have any further questions at the end of the induction, then please fire them over to Michael behind reception. Say hi, Michael. Okay, so if this is your first time floating, please bear in mind there are a number of different things I'm going to go through with you. Okay, so now I'm going to explain the controls inside the pod, and then I'll tell you all about your float session and how that's going to run. So, I would personally float with your head towards the door end, just because you have access to open and close the lid. In terms of lights, once you're in, the blue light stays on until you decide to turn it off or change it for the different colours. So, there's a big black button on the left, so if you press that once inside the pod, that will turn the lights off. Press it a second time, it then goes into a cycle of six different colours. Obviously it's up to you, as I said, you can change it throughout the session whenever you like. The button on the opposite side of the pod is your call attendant alarm, so if you press that, that will buzz to reception and just to let us know if there's any issue, and obviously we'll come and knock on the door to check everything's okay. So the other things we include inside the tank is a water bottle. So the water bottle is just normal water, so that's just in case if you get salt water in your eyes. I would leave one towel outside the tank just in case, just in case you need to wipe them. We also provide you with uh, neck pillows, so there's two. So we have um, the float halo first, which is this one. So the halo literally just goes behind your head, like so. So the halo is very good because it keeps your body in a nice neutral position. You may not necessarily need to use it, but it's there if you like to. Once you've used it in the tank, if you leave it in the, uh, in the water, and then we will sort everything out, out after the session. There's also another neck pillow for those of you who like a little bit more support. So we have one of these as well. So if you're saying, if you leave those in the pod after, then we will clean those up and get replace those in the next session. So we normally recommend having the lid closed for the session, just so you have the full experience. Uh, obviously, if you feel like you want to have uh, the lid partially open or completely open, that's totally up to you. If you have it partially open, you can leave it up to stay yay high. If you want to push it, obviously it will pop open by itself, so they're all on gas struts, nice and easy. There's a handle underneath as well to pull it down as well. Now I'm going to explain how the float session works and some float positions that you can try whilst in the pod. So, the session itself won't actually start until you're in. There's a motion sensor in the top corner of the room, so when there's no movement in here, the lights in the room will go off. The music in the pod will start after about 30 seconds. Now, you've either chosen to have 10 minutes of music at the beginning, nothing in the middle, with 5 minutes at the end, or you've had music throughout the session. Now, when it comes to the end of the session, it will go silent for a couple of minutes, and that's the best time to get out of the tank. Now, for me to give you an extra signal, to give you a heads up, because some people like to zone out, uh, then what I'll normally do is, if the lights are off inside the pod, I will turn them on. If the lights are on, I will turn them off and back on again, just to give you an extra signal to let you know the session's coming to an end. So when you get out at the end of the session, please make sure you close the lid behind you. Really important to close the lid because you go through a 15 minute cleaning cycle between each session. So in terms of float positions, like I mentioned earlier, you can use the halo and you can use the float pillow. If you didn't want to use either, that's fine. You can also float with your arms above your head, which takes the pressure off your neck and your shoulders and your back to put you in a more comfortable position. Some people like to float with arms by their side or their hands on their chest or even hands behind your head. Whatever's comfortable for you. On the table as well, we also have some earplugs um, and a small tube of Vaseline as well. So we recommend wearing earplugs just because of the amount of salt in the water. Once you've used them, please put them back in the box and they will be sent off to be recycled and the trays will be disinfected and ready for the next session. Once you've finished your float session, please take your towels and place them in the basket next to the shoe rack outside in the reception area. You can make your way then through to the chill-out room in the back 
where there's space for two people. So if you come in with a guest, that is fine. Please continue to observe the social distancing rules. And yes, you can chill and relax for 25 minutes or so.